Hey folks, welcome back. So I've got another unboxing for you today. Uh, this one again from CubeZZ. If you remember from my last unboxing video, I said that there was a couple more puzzles coming. One of them is the other Dode Trapeza Rhombus thing from MF8 with the crazy circles on it. Uh, and the other one, I don't remember. So it'll be a surprise for us all. <laughs> um, without any further ado, let's dive right in. Uh, it's so good to be getting puzzled in the post again, I have to tell you. Um, it's been too long. Even though I still have some puzzles on my to be solved list, it's always nice to have some new challenges to uh, get you in the mood for some good old solving. So there we go. You can see the classic MF8 box. There we go, get rid of that thing. All right, nicely packed. Oh, what is this? Oh, I think I know what that is, okay. <laughs> Uh, we'll look at that one first, because I'm quite excited about it. And, uh, well, I'm excited about both. Let's be serious. Let's be honest with ourselves. Um, and allow me to apologize for any noise you may hear um, from outside. There's a great deal of construction happening from our broadband company. So hopefully that'll mean my videos will upload faster in the future. Um, but for now, we've got a week or two of noise ahead of us. So without, without any further jibber jabber let's take a look at this so this is a land land puzzle um don't know if there's any there you go edge turning octahedron um this i believe is an aton production known as the uh, notorious inventor of aton star which was and is still one of the hardest puzzles um ever to be mass produced and in fact you can see Aton's name featured prominently right there on the front, which is great. Uh, it's always good when um, you know producers of puzzles get their due and get to you know get some residuals or royalties, or whatever you get um, when our puzzle is mass produced. Uh, yeah, and it's an edge-turning octahedron, as you can see. So all the edges, I would guess, are turnable, like so, um, like that. Now there's a very perturbing cut pattern on these. So I'm not certain <laughs> how the usual jumbling and so forth is going to, to work, but let's, I'm not sure. Okay, so let's try different angles here. So that's that's the normal setup. If we bring it over here, can I like, can I chop out a bit this way, maybe? Not that one. No. I don't know quite. Oh, well, that looks promising. Uh, as is typical with land and puzzles, it is quite tight. So the faces that I don't want to move are the ones that are moving. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, let's think about this. Uh, if this were a cube, edge turning cube, then I would turn one like this and then turn the other one on the other, like, not quite adjoining edge. What do I do to get this to jumble? Can I do this? Nope. <laughs> Can I do this? Wait, that's normal. <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just not sure how these cuts... Ooh, ooh. I think that's it. I think that might be it. Something is moving. This is moving. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right, so I can get some shape shifting going. That's cool. And then what about jumbling? Okay, so if I can do that and then jumble. Okay, so I can do this that way. So what I'm thinking is maybe I need to turn this guy. Is that, does that make sense? Yeah, I'm not sure. And then can we... Oh, there it is. See, there's the curvy copter movement in octahedral form. How cool is that? Very cool. So we can indeed jumble uh, all these different bits out of their orbits. So um, I've seen Twisty Puzzling, a wonderful YouTube channel I've mentioned many times before, um, has both jumbling and non-jumbling tutorials for this. Um, I think even without jumbling, it's going to be tougher than 
say a regular Kirby copter because I mean there's a lot of pieces here um, it's a very sort of unintuitive shape I think I have trouble with octahedrons anyway and to then have an edge turning element um, is pretty crazy the movement is actually not bad I mean it is it does take a little bit of oomph to get it moving but it does move reasonably well a um, little bit of spring noise but that's you know that's, that's fine nothing wrong with that in my view um, doesn't bother me very much the edges do need alignment but they do still go with a little bit of misalignment so that's not too bad um, I think yeah for a land land puzzle it's pretty good I think it'll be similar to their curvy copter in that um, basically I'll need to just do a lot of turns to break it in and uh, it'll be basically fine I'll feel pretty comfortable with it um, I will need to readjust my brain to the new ways of jumbling with this um, I'm pretty sure there's other methods of jumbling that I'm missing here but I don't want to spend forever trying to discover them on camera when you've all got better things to do <laughs> um, but yeah first impressions really positive um, QBZ is selling it for $19.99 um, and I got it from them along with this guy because I worked out that to get just these two plus shipping uh, from Z-Cube is actually slightly more expensive than the cheaper shipping from CubeZZ, um, despite the prices being a bit higher on the actual puzzles themselves. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice looking puzzle. Um, the stickers seem pretty solid. I do wish there was replacements, of course, but um, I'll keep an eye out on Chewy's custom stickers and stuff, see if there's any uh, cool backups I could get in case they get a bit worn down because I think it will take quite some time for me to get to grips with this thing I still struggle with the face turning octahedron to be honest um, at least you know the, the the speed solving method I can do the you know the, the usual um, you know kind of the uh, just swapping through pieces around of each type until you eventually solve it thing um, but I prefer to do something more elegant and Ben Puzzles has a, a beautiful method for this that I just can't grasp at all <laughs> for whatever reason. Not for this, but for the face turning octahedron. Um, I don't think this will be a puzzle that anybody will speed solve anytime soon because it looks really complex. Um, plus, you know, we don't have, we only have a LAN LAN, um, which I think would take some real modding to get it to move super quickly. But I mean, it's good enough for me, to be honest. I'm actually pretty, pretty happy with this. Um, I think the colors look great. I like having Aton's name on there for all to see and admire. Um, yeah, so that's the edge turning Octahedra from Landland. Great puzzle. Very happy. Um, now, finally, the last member of the Dode Trapeza whatevers um, from MF8. Oh, it's in bubble wrap this time. That's interesting. Uh, we've got our stickers down there. You can see that this is indeed the crazy version. Um, and. Oh, it's in a bag and bubble wrap. Wow, so maybe this one is a bit considered a bit more fragile in shipment, or I wonder if CubeZZ did that out of the goodness of their hearts. Um, either way, I must applaud their customer service. They wrote me an email today, right before this arrived, saying, oh, Royal Mail says that they failed delivery, so please you know, call this number to make sure you receive a parcel, and I had actually already received it. Um, but I wrote back and said, I really appreciate your you know, rapid response time and all that. Um, so really, CubeZZ, a great store gotta say um, so this again is the uh, this is the sort of benticated version <laughs> that's not a word but you know what I mean the um, offset version of the dodeca rhombohedral puzzles that M fate has been putting out you saw the other three in the last unboxing and you saw the non crazy version of this guy and the key difference with this guy is we have so let's see uh, we've got three uh, sort of standard rhombic dodecahedron faces here, these diamond shapes. Uh, and we got two uh, trap, 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 uh, what is it? Trap, uh, he's trapahedron. Trapeza something. Anyway, <laughs> those, those shapes. <laughs> uh, and then three more diamond faces. Yeah, so basically there's one axis around which you have these uh, trapezohedron faces and then you've got the um or trapezoid that's what i'm looking for trapezoidal faces Jeez, my brain is off today um so we've got one two three four five i guess we've got six um of each yeah so we've got six diamonds and six trapezoids and um with this version we also have 
the circles. So let's see which type of faces we got. We go down the tra trapo uh, trapezoidal axis. So we've got a zero face. This is a one face. This is a, a zero face. That's a one face and a zero face. Cool, so we've got uh, a mixture of ones and zeros along that axis. Now for the um, diamond faces, we've got a zero there, got a zero here, and a zero here, that's interesting. Now on the other side, zero, zero, and zero, huh. So the only one faces we have in the default setup are on the trapezoidal faces, that's intriguing. Um, but again, uh, my understanding is the same as with the other puzzles um, in the regular rhombic dodecahedral shape. You can pop the center caps off, um, flip a little thing over, and turn any face from a 0 to a 1. So you basically have a huge number of possible puzzles with this alone. If you then add in the fact that you can swap an entire face out and put in a non-circle face from the regular version of the trapezoidal rhombic dodecahedron puzzle, then you've got, uh, I mean, a enormous number of possible puzzles you can create of uh, various incredible terrifying levels of challenge um, as per we've seen with the regular version um, we can do lots of weird turns on this thing and jumbling things around um, the turning on this is actually I think a little better than the non crazy version which is a little bit odd <laughs> uh, maybe that one just didn't get enough uh, you know, maybe there's still some flash on the mold or something in the factory, but these, I mean, the trapezoidal faces definitely seem a bit more cooperative on this puzzle. Um, there is a little bit of, some are smoother than others, um, and turning both directions seems fine, which is nice. The diamond faces, this is a zero face, of course, because they're all zero faces. Um, yeah, they both hold together, both directions hold together really well, turn really well. Um, and it's a, it's a weird, weird shape. I mean, look at this thing. Um, so I'm really excited now to have the whole series. Um, I'm going to start by trying to solve the regular versions of the rhombic dodecahedral, uh, or the dota rhombus as they call it. Then the dota tra 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 trapezoid or rhombus or whatever they call it. Uh, and then this crazy version. Um, and then we'll see if, if I can solve the crazy version of both of these in their default configurations. Um, I'll, I'll pr frankly be impressed with myself because I find these crazy puzzles really counterintuitive, um, but fascinating nonetheless. I mean, look at, you know, it's already looking scary. And like, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> it's, it's terrifying. Um, yeah, I, I hope I haven't lost myself. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so that's it. Just a brief unboxing. I want to show you that um, the last of the series has arrived, which I'm really thrilled to say. Um, both puzzles arrived in perfect condition. Um, great uh, customer support from CubeZZ. Um, the Aton's edge turning octahedron um, it turned out much better than I anticipated, to be honest. I think it moves great. It looks great. Um, I'm really happy that they've given Aton his due. So it's not a, it's not a knockoff. This is, you know, he's getting money for this. Um, and he deserves it. It's a beautiful design. I love that it can still jumble. I love that you can shapeshift it. Um, it's going to kill me to try and solve it. Like, I may actually die. Um, but I don't think I'll die quite as much as I will with, with this guy. I mean, this is just madness. Um, but yeah. So, if you've got any questions about the puzzles, let me know. I will come back. Like I said, I'm going to sticker all these bad boys. Um, and then show them off in their full glory. Um, I'll try and do a little bit more breaking in first as well. But honestly, I mean, for a slow solve, I think they'll be fine. Um, a little bit catchy, but there are a lot of pieces in these crazy versions. And like I said, oddly, the crazy version of, of this guy, the, the what they call the, the bent uh, dode trapeza, whatever, um, it actually seems smoother than the non-crazy version, which is which is surprising, um, but in a good way. So yeah, um, that's it for me from now. I'll pop this on the channel just after the other unboxing, and then you'll see um, everything I've got from China at the moment. Um, so I've got plenty to work on, so it'll probably be a while before I buy anything new after this. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this quick look at these puzzles in their fresh-out-of-the-box state. 
um, and I hope you'll come back and join us for the eventual stick ring reveal. Um, I haven't decided on a color scheme yet, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting to work out how to how to make a nice design on these guys with these trapezoidal faces. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to that as a, a sort of artistic challenge. Um, but I think they, they appear to be well-moving and well-constructed puzzles, so good on you, MF8. Um, and likewise, their double circle crazy in the last video was better quality plastic than I expected, so maybe they're finally up in their game as far as puzzle quality and quality control. Um, and that would make me overjoyed because they often produce um, you know, great-looking puzzles with uh, very fascinating solves, um, but the degree of actual usability can vary a lot. But I feel like this series has been really good um, out of the box. You know, I feel like they'll be um, easy to break in and they hold together really well. So good on them. Uh, and in case, let me know what you think of the puzzles in the comments below. I uh, hope you look forward to the stickering reveal when I have time to finally do it. Um, and we'll see you back here soon. As usual, stay healthy and well. Say what's up in the comments if you have any thoughts, questions, opinions suggestions for other puzzles, etc. And uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.